Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Final, excuse me. Um, I've been hearing a man that's yelling a lot behind the scenes, and I'm not sure what it is you're yelling about. Uh, someone could be very pissed up behind the scenes. Maybe something came to an end or something is not going to them. Or someone is just really pissed off. I don't know. It has. I think it has to do with someone's ego, trying to destroy someone, trying to steal something that belongs to someone else. Like someone is just yelling and screaming behind the scenes for just absolutely no reason. That's because this is someone that's just a lost cause. A lost cause. Excuse me. Um. So I don't know what this is, baby. I I I, I was sitting sitting down and I just heard someone screaming. I'm like, why is why is there a man screaming? And you all, I live by myself with my my kids. I don't I got no man in my house, and I don't have a TV. I don't watch a lot of TV. Um, but I just kept hearing this man screaming. Like he's just pissed off behind the scenes. That I don't know if it's because he lost something. People don't want to work with him or something. People are fed up with him. People aren't listening to him. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. We have an Empress Energy here that may be trying to steal something and plotting on taking or stealing something, thinking that she's going to get away with it. Someone has been exposed for being a thief. Uh, that could have been like a mother or wife figure out here that's been pretending to be in the upright. I'm telling you, baby girl, it didn't go in the way you think. Like, even though something has backfired on an entire family, entire group, I'm telling you, it, something has backfired horribly on a whole community, a whole family. And instead of them trying to figure out how to mend things the right way, how to fix something, someone is still out here trying to steal, uh, how to destroy, how to get away with something really malicious. They may even be trying to take something that does not belong to them. And this is why the universe is stepping in to cause a tower for these people. And they're about to be going through a lot of heartbreaks and things like that behind the scenes. Uh, they may even want, some of them may want to come towards you and apologize to you, Starseed. But that's going to be up to you to accept an apology from these people. I always advise for you to forgive. You don't have to mend things for people for you to forgive. You can simply just move on with your life um, and let them be. Let them go through their karma, learn their lessons, don't hold grudges or anything like that. Um, but there's a mother or a wife figure out here on Empress Energy that's planning on trying to steal something and it's not going to go in her favor. It's, she's going to be disappointed about whatever it is. This woman could be throwing some type of temper tantrum behind the scenes. Um, that has to do with someone having a new beginning. This has to also a lot to do with some type of ten of pentacles. Someone simply cares only for money. They don't care about anything else. Um, and whoever this is could be a queen of uh, cups in the reverse as well. Listen, this king of um king of cups came out sideways, so we're not on, we're not sure about you, sir. We're not sure about you. He came out sideways. He came out fell and went sideways. Yeah, he's going through some. Excuse me. He's going through some type of outburst. This could be the man that I'm possibly hearing. I don't know these people. You all. Literally, I get on here and just do my reads. I don't know these people. Like, I work from home, mind my business, learn my ABCs, and my one, two, threes, take care of my babies, and I leave it at that, do school. I don't know anybody in these communities. I just pick up on their energy and do the do the reading. But this man could be the one. There's a king of cups behind the scenes that may be throwing some type of temper tantrum because something is not going his way. This is someone that's very malicious. Someone does not care about doing things the right way. Someone does not care how it is to achieve victory. Someone may be a bit of a trickster, very manipulative, may have illegal connections in the court system or may have legal connections in the court system, but they misuse those connections and things like that. So someone does not have any type of integrity. This is absolutely the person that's losing it behind the scenes.
throwing some type of temper tantrum because things are not going their way. So because things are not going their way, they're about to go now and do a lot of manipulations behind the scenes in order to bring someone else some problems to force them to move on away from what it is they've put in a lot of work into. Uh, so this is someone very malicious and cunning. Someone's ego may have been bruised really horribly and it's not that you did anything to this person. This is just someone that's very karmic and just refuses to grow up. They're going through some type of karma behind the scenes, but while they're going through karma, they still want to take some type of action to block your new beginnings, trying to block you from being able to move on, trying to block the truth from coming out, want to take some type of reckless action to cause you some type of heartbreak, may want to try, may be trying to block some type of communication from coming in. Uh, someone has some illegal ways of doing things. Someone may even be into like the black web and things like that. Someone is very dark when his when he came out, everything just went bleak for me. Someone is into something that's very dark. And people, yeah, the people may not know it. This is someone that does a lot of manipulations but from behind the scenes to make sure things go in their favor. So if they said this is going to happen and they know good and well that's not going to happen, they will go above and beyond to make sure that that happens. They don't care who they have to stab, who they have to steal from, who they have to cheat who they have to destroy to make sure whatever they say was going to happen is going to happen. So this is a very cunning mother sucker, okay? And this is clarity coming out about this king of cups. Maybe people around him may not know that this man is this malicious. Yeah, this is the truth about this man. Someone comes with nothing but conflict to make sure he gets what it is that he wants. He may be trying to force something to go to him. He may be trying to force some type of victory um, over a queen of pentacles. Someone has not mastered themselves, but they will pre present themselves to be self-mastered. To present them, they will present themselves to be very genuine, kind, nurturing, and things like that. Just so they can get really up close and pers personal with people. Just in the end, to destroy them. Okay. Uh, it looks that like whatever connections he has in the court system, that relationship is over. They said, "Now nah, well, we don't got time for all that." <laughs> We don't got time for all that. Something has gone a little bit farther than he realizes. Someone may end up going to jail or having to pay. This is absolute clarity for you, sir. If you did not know all the actions you've been taking behind the scenes to block opportunities and offers from people, you're going to need a lawyer. And it ain't going to be the, the this person here. This I think this is a judge. That you, someone may have had some type of connection with a judge and that connection is over. Like, I don't think they're willing to work with him anymore or this could be a woman as well. They're not willing to work with this person. They're, whoever this is, is cutting their ties with this person because there's something really dark going on in this. I'm telling you, I said something dark. There's something really dark that this person does to make sure that they get their victory. And maybe this is what people they didn't know, but now they're getting the truth, okay? There's something really malicious, very dark, very narcissistic. I'm telling you, honey, this person is going through it. They were trying to cause a tower for someone so that they don't get an ace of pentacles, trying to deplete you of all your resources. Someone may not even want people to find you to be beautiful, articulate, or anything like that. Someone wise knowing they don't want people to come to you for advice or anything like that. They don't want people to take you serious, okay? But whatever connections he had, again, okay, in the community as well is coming to an end. Someone could be going through some type of divorce. Um, as well, is that whatever he was trying to take from you is what he's losing. Someone is losing something 10 times over. So if they cost you a relationship, they're losing a marriage. If they cost you a job, they're losing a business. If they cost you a job, they're losing a position, something. If they cost you a position, they're losing their inheritance. Someone used to be in a very celebrative state and now this is them. Because this is karma being balanced out. Something is being looked into. Someone is very combative. Very confused, maybe crying, yelling, everything, throwing some type of uh, outburst. Maybe even just yelling at people he has no business yelling at. I don't know if this is a business owner. If you're not, you may want to calm down. You may want to simmer down, calm down. Don't go yelling at your boss now because you may be under some type of illusion that you have the authority in the situation and you find your, yourself out in the cold with no job. Calm down. But I heard someone yelling, like just yelling for no reason, no reason at all. It's like, you know that Cardi B mean. What was the reason? What was the reason that you wanted to burst out our eardrums and things like that? Like, stop yelling, okay? Stop yelling. I feel like I even saw someone's face when they were yelling. Um, when I had my vision, I said, who the heck is this? What, what, what the heck are you doing? 
is like this is a beautiful day we're supposed to be having a beautiful day in the neighborhood and things like that and you're somewhere out there yelling your guts away because you're pissed up at what so sir we can't cannot help you i don't get no positive vibes and the fact that when i saw you in my vision everything was dark around you that's how i know as well baby ain't nothing mm -mm. don't be showing up in my visions I don't look. I saw you and heard you. That's a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Most people, when I have any type of premonition about them, I either just see them or I hear them. Okay, I have all four clairs, but I typically would just see them or hear them or feel them, smell something. But you, I saw you and I heard you. <laughs> Something's wrong with you. <laughs> Something is wrong with you, okay? Something is definitely wrong with you. But this man here, all the lying, the cheating, the stealing, everything, baby. I'm telling you, this man is going through it. This empress as well is going through it. This could be his wife as well. They're all going through it. Maybe they were partners in crimes before. There's a separation, as you can see. There's a whole divide between them. They used to work together on stealing from people, blocking people, you know, destroying other people's lives. Now they're the one going through the woes, all the burdens. Yeah, I'm telling you, all the burdens they were causing other people, this is what they're going through. These people used to work together, but it's not that anymore. There's a separation. Mm, there's a glitch in the matrix. The gag is, this is how it was always meant to be, for things to be balanced out. And the, yeah, this is the absolute truth. Something is being exposed about what these people have been doing. They're not getting their wishes come through. He's going through blockages and stagnations. No type of new beginnings. He may be trying to stop someone else from being able to move forward because someone is very bitter, very narcissistic, very angry behind the scenes. The sad thing is that this man is angry at himself. He just does not realize it. He thinks he's angry at somebody else. You didn't do nothing to this mother sucker. This person is just angry in life. Maybe their whole life, maybe they've been short their whole life and they wanted to be tall. Maybe they're a winner in the size they wanted to be, so they take it out on other people. Maybe they're unsure of their situation, so, you know, they're angry. Maybe they want to be a woman. You're a beautiful woman, and it pisses them up. Maybe we don't know why this man is upset, but it don't got nothing to do with you. Don't take on other people's burdens and woes um, if they ain't trying to get the necessary, the, the right kind of help from you, okay? This man here is his own problem. He's his own situation. So, whatever blockages he's trying to cause you, that's what he's about to go through. And from what I'm seeing in this spread, it looks like why these people are trying to cause you ending, baby, they're going through it. They are going through it, okay? I'm telling you, they're going through it. This Queen of Wands, baby, she's been coming out a long time. Some type of court case didn't go in her favor. I told her it wasn't going to go in her favor. Now she's about to go through blockages, still makes everything she was trying to manifest for you. Now she's out here bitter, angry, and depressed, uh, jealous as heck, about to be out in the cold, being pulled out of a home that she more than likely tried to steal or stole it, uh, through the court system with illegal connections or in illegal ta with illegal tactics, someone is being pulled out of her home. She's going to have to figure it out, just like the light workers had to figure it out when they were stealing from them. This woman is going through a loss, going through some type of divorce, separation, breakup, whatever we want to call it, being pulled out of a home, maybe losing a job, a business. Maybe everything is just being flipped, turned upside down. But you know what? This is in order for you to move forward collective and have that new beginning. You may be having a new beginning with a king of wands that may be wanting to communicate with you. Uh, time will tell. When I want to tell too much, someone may be protecting you against a group behind the scenes. You may not even know who this masculine is, baby. It is what it is. The universe will reveal it to you in due time. But just know all these people, they're going through it. And this is final destination for them. There's some type of blessing these people have to learn. It could be like a seven-year cycle, 10-year cycle. Ten, oh, I said 10. Yeah, it's a 10-year cycle of, of karma. Baby, it's about to be rough for these people. They could have never imagined this in their wildest dream of what they would be going through if something didn't go the way they thought it would or they hoped it would. Excuse me. I think I did. I just put my cards outside. No. Okay. Oh, thank you. I don't like dealing with reverse cards. Okay. Because sometimes it just, it just confuses me. Why, why'd you come out in the reverse? 
What was what was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? You know my brain size is like my brain is about this big. You know people be on. People be, I have people to be thinking I'm retarded, so I gotta play like I'm retarded. <laughs> I gotta play like I'm retarded every day. <laughs> they said, oh, she's dumb. I said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't know that? I got my papers. I just gotta find them. Excuse me. It may take me a while to find them. You know what? I'll get back to you tomorrow. I don't even know where I put those papers. <laughs> I gotta play along, folks. I gotta play along. Anyways, baby, these people are going through karma. The truth is out about an empress. She's not getting what it is she wants. She thought she was going to have some type of new beginning. Whereas you're getting your wish fulfillment, sisters, better be humble. Humble that self. Because that wheel of fortune is out here. And it don't care. My yacht is out here handing out humble pies, karma. And she said, listen, you get what you get. Okay? We, we, we're not giving this karma to nobody else. It has your name to it. It has your lineage attached to it. Now, they're out here telling us they don't they don't want to have to go through this again. Uh, if we can just be patient with you. No, 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 no. You're going to get this karma here. This karma here, you're going to get it. You're going to get it until you get it right. Okay? Um. So, <laughs> there could be a man here now that's single, wanting to move on with his life. Or single, ready to mingle. Or single and getting ready to be ready to mingle. Okay? <laughs> if that makes sense. This man is moving on. He wants to have wish fulfillment. Maybe sneaking away from some type of tumultuous relationship karmic relationship too much arguing too much fighting too much just nonsense things that should not be taking place in relationships where people say they're genuinely meant to be together but brothers yeah this is a very karmic relationship this king of cups is coming out of it ain't going nowhere he knows it she knows it but she may be trying to hold on to a man for my money it's all about finances but this relationship is over this man is choosing to move on Whatever this court case is, it's moving forward. A sister is going through karma. There may be some type of deception going in, going on as well in the court system about a different queen of wands. All of this is going to be coming out. There's a queen of wands. The one in the reverse in the situation is being seen as someone that's a liar. Baby, oh my lord. What in the world is going on with these people? It's all it's terrible out here. Like they're out here crying, screaming their guts out, people getting sick to their stomach, people just passing out and stuff. Why? Because two people are coming together. I saw the four of wands wands quite a lot. They've been trying to trap a masculine in some type of toxic situation. They know he don't want to be in there. They've been doing anything to defeat this man, to block him from moving forward and being able to balance something out. At this point, it's something that has to do with these people's ego. Because whatever it is they're plotting, paying for, trying to invest in, it's not going to work out. So this has a lot to do with your egos. It's what I'm picking up on. Okay? But someone is out here pissed off mad because the truth is out the truth has defeated the the narcissist <laughs> that is such a bold statement the truth has defeated the narcissist there's nothing they can do there I, baby these people are pissed off i'm not even getting like sad or depressed i'm more so getting pissed off angry because something is not going their way something that was never meant to go their way there may be a queen of cups behind the scenes that's fighting or competing with a high priestess maybe you don't even know her miss high priestess ma'am how you doing girlfriend how you doing sir um but there's someone in some type of competition with you i don't even know if you know this person i doubt you would give two f's if you knew them um because you know high priestesses we don't compete for nothing we don't got time. We only got time to be helping and ascending and elevating the masses. But it's a whole Queen of Cups reverse that's in competition with you to be you. I, I don't know if you, girl, I, I, I know that math ain't math, but I just got to give the message that gets coming out, okay? She's trying to hold on to something that don't belong to her, trying to get or control something that don't belong to her. This girl's about to be, about to be going through a nightmare. Don't, don't you worry. When her karma kicks in, kicks in. She won't even want to touch what it is that belongs to you. Okay, darling? So just keep on doing what it is you're doing out here. You see the truth is already defeating these people. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
You are absolutely a high priestess. These people have been coming after. They might, they may have their own high priestess. Maybe, maybe it's that a uh, 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 Queen of Cups reverse that's been pretending to be a high priestess, and the truth is out that she's not exactly a high priestess. Whatever this is, but Miss Real High Priestess, ma'am, sir. Mr. High Priestess, uh huh, you're about to be stepping in your Ten of Pentacles. These people may be out here uh, trying to make sure you don't get your Ten of Pentacles. It's going to be given to you, okay? It will be given to you. Um, these people care a little bit too much about what it is that's going on with you. They care a little bit too much about you having wish fulfillment, you being content. This is why they've been taking all of these actions to cause you blockages and things like that. And guess what? That's what they're going through because your ancestors, the universe has been over this whole situation uh, the whole time. So your new beginning, whether you all are moving, getting a new job, promotion, starting a business, starting a platform, maybe it's all going to be successful when it's supposed to be. So you just keep going forward. Your ancestors said that was your part the whole time, to do your part. Keep pushing forward, putting in the effort to learn. I'm telling you, this karmic group here, they're trying to hold on to something, but something is being kept from them. They're going through. This is a very karmic group. Not only, do you all see this mess here? We have the three of swords, five of swords, page of swords in the reverse, four of pentacles in the five of wands. So these people are out here having temper tantrums, narcissistic as heck out here, still fighting, trying to find a way to defeat and block the truth, even though it's too late. These are disloyal people as hell, as heck, excuse me. Um, the I don't even want to say this, but... The the IQ might maybe buffering because your IQ has to be very low for you to be willingly participating in something like this. And time and time and time and time again, it keeps backfiring, but you still keep committing yourself to it. I don't get it. I'm confused. I'm sure a lot of you are confused as well as to why these people are still committed to something, knowing very well that it's not going to go accordingly. Maybe someone told them something was going to go in their favor. A high priestess, a false high priestess may have told them a lie that something was going to go in their favor. Or maybe a high priestess was playing games with them. Who knows? Maybe well, I don't know and I really don't care. But these people, maybe the truth has been exposed and now they know that they're not going to be having victory over whoever the light worker is and it's causing them a lot of heartbreak and dis-ease. They feel uncomfortable being in a world where you're going to be living a fulfilled life, being content, having the family values and things like that. Because whoever they've been trying to block from coming towards you, maybe that man is going to find a way. If where there's a will, there's a way okay i just heard a friend in me is a friend in me so there may be someone out here that needs your help uh, with a situation maybe it has to do with a kid a child or something like that uh, so someone may reach out to you for assistance um, be very cautious of what you say to this person because they, they think very highly of you even if you may not be very fond of this person they think very highly of you. Yeah, it has to do with a child. This could be a king of wands. And there's something about him and a child. Maybe a child is not in a safe environment. Maybe a child may not be biologically his. And he wants to be able to provide for that kid. Because maybe the mother is not doing what she needs to do for the child. She may be self -sing. I don't know what this is. But someone may reach out to you for the truth. Wants to have closure or something like that. This could be like a girl or child. Of course, it could be a male too in some situations. Um, But someone may want may reach out to you just to kind of ask for your advice and things like that. Okay? Um, But honey, the, the, the karma that's playing out. The, the madness that's playing out behind the scenes. You don't want to be there. I don't want to be there. Maybe you see this uh, after the five of wands is the freaking eight of swords. Maybe it ain't nothing but tragedy for these people. Nothing good. Oh my gosh. Someone is out here feeling rejected. They're disappointed in themselves for some type of action they took. But this is, again, remember, these are narcissists. Whatever action they took, it landed them right in the eight of swords energy. So someone could either be getting locked up or someone is just confused all over the place. They've lost their mental 
maybe having a mental breakdown um, because something is over. They're not getting something. Something is not going their way. Maybe the court system told this person they're not giving them something. Maybe they're not giving them a house. They got to move out of the house because it don't belong to you. It don't belong to you, girl. Um, but yeah, someone is being pulled out, maybe losing her mental, maybe going to jail as well. Someone may be ending up in a lot of debt because of something she did. There could be some type of for forgery going on. I'm telling you, someone is in some type of court case. She's stuck. Uh, and she's pissed off about some type of marriage that's about to take place. I don't know who's getting married. I mean, married, excuse me, but you see here two people choosing each other and getting married. Baby, that is it. <laughs> Ma'am, I don't know what to tell you. These are two ascended masters. They manifested this beginning, this reality for themselves, for each other. So they're operating on the same frequency. You're still in the rah, 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 rah frequency and nobody got time for that. Because ain't nobody got time for this. Ain't nobody got time for this. Girl, you got to grow up. These two are moving on with their lives. They're choosing to invest in their healing, their elevation. So they are moving on. Okay, you you two can be, you all can be as confused and pissed off about two people coming together, but this is what Source has deemed it to be. So this Empress energy, you all have been trying to destroy. There's another Empress energy in here that's just bad as ish, it, crazy, narcissistic, entitled. There's a false, being exposed as a thief as well. Someone that does anything to hide the truth, block the truth from coming out. Baby, we ain't talking about you. Whoever the uh, Empress is in the upright will be getting married, will be receiving some type of position in a company, institution. There could be an institution that wants to work with someone out there and you are going to be getting their uh, position. And this is why everybody is living in fear. Something, there's some type of organization or institution, whatever we want to call it, um, that has been kind of deteriorating because of the people that are in that institution is a lot of lazy people more than likely, or maybe the lazy people have overpowered the genuine people in the company. So there's perhaps there's going to have to be some type of cleansing, uh, energy cleansing, like letting go of the negative people, the lazy people, and actually putting in people that care about the company, the future of the company, that's what's going to have to take place. If you don't, if you do not, let me quit playing around because I think this is a very serious situation. If you do not, your company is not going to see another 10 years or wherever this is. I don't know how long you all have been in business with this hierophant out here. This could be a, a company that is very well established, well known. That could be end up falling. That could end up falling from grace and losing everything because you all don't know how to let go of karmic people. Don't know or don't want to do things the right way. Um, I don't know if you all had the opportunity to do things the right way and you refuse to. But if you want to see another ten years, you want to see another five years. I'm being corrected. If you want to see another five years, 10 years, 20, 40, 50 years, you're going to have to clean your company out, clean it out, let go of the bad nuts and invest in the people that actually care, pay your workers fairly. Okay. Uh, cause there are people in your company right now that only care about money. They don't care about anything else, but money They don't care about the workers. They don't care about the well being of the company. They just care about Money is all it is for them. Moon lie. They, they, they just want their moolah, that la jean, or my people say kappa. That's all they care about. They want their kappa, give it to them, and they are fulfilled. They don't care who they got to step on. They don't care who's uh not making enough, barely making ends meet. These are people that only care about themselves. So if you love your company, you want it to last, you're going to have to let them go. You got to let them go. You know how Medea told that, that uh, judge, you got to let me go. Yeah, you got to let them go so your company can can thrive and survive, okay? But something I'm really picking up on uh, as well in this spread is that this has a lot to do with two people coming together. I see the Ten of Cups out here and the lovers. So there's something really essential 
um, playing out here is that people are causing a lot of chaos when it comes to two people coming together. They just do not want that happening. But this is a union that's divinely meant to be. These two have chosen each other on a spiritual level. They know who, who each other are. So it's going to happen regardless of what these people do. Um, so I don't even know why they've invested. I think it has something to do with money. Someone in here, there's a woman that really just cares about money. She does not care about the man that she's with or was with. It's all about money. So you all may want to be careful about this woman. Someone will do any and everything for money. And I think maybe most of you in this community may be that way as well. For those of you that are not that way, I will keep my distance from these people that you know are very greedy and don't care. I'm telling you, keep your distance until they will leave this situation, leave this community, leave this family, leave this business, company, whatever this is. And then you can, you know, <laughs> come a little back out from hiding from the corner and start saying hi to each other a little bit more, not living in fear because this person is going to come do this to you or this person is going to look at you weird or they may start asking you questions about why you're talking to that person let them get away let them go first and then everybody can come out and live blissfully but there's something about like a negative energy in a company just it's just really dark that like things are just dying around these people it's just death a lot of just people stuck in some type of old paradigm Everything they've been doing is just leading them to a court case, a big old court case. Just losing everything. And it ain't no compromising with you people. I don't know who it is you've been coming after that you think you're about to come to worse or go to worse or whatever to compromise. Ain't nobody compromising with you. Uh, you're going to have to spit out what you stole. Okay? I don't know why it came out that way. Whatever you took, this is why I say don't take what you're not willing to lose. So everything you all stole is what you were willing to lose. Whether it was people's peace, people's energy, people's wealth, their homes, their inheritances, everything is going to be taken from you. Your spiritual abundances will be taken from you uh, and put on hold until there is a lifetime where you all are ready to do the work to get those spiritual abundances back. That's, that's a judgment. That's final. Okay. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.